Pressure mounts on the government as such and recovery of victims who died after their vehicle plunged into the Indian Ocean at the Likoni Channel continues. Now there is still no sight of the bodies or the vehicle itself despite employing high-tech equipment and professional divers from various government agencies. Kevin Mutai is still on that beat tonight. Recovery operations on Thursday were temporarily affected by the strong winds and a heavy downpour in Mombasa and divers had to be recalled after experiencing difficulty maneuvering the channel. But when the rain stopped, the team scanned through some of the key coordinates, the possible locations of the vehicle and bodies of mother and daughter who drowned on Sunday. But still, there was no sight of them. <laughs> The divers plunged 57 meters deep into the water, an area with plenty of grass and rocks. But it was hard for the robots to get clear images in the dark. The divers also had trouble accessing the area because of the fast-moving waters. Despite the challenges, the government maintains it has the right equipment to address such cases while at the same time rubbishing claims that there are calls to invite foreigners with advanced technology to retrieve the bodies. As a government, we have faith and trust in our institutions and the resources that we have. If any other nationality would be here, it would be a private person that will not necessarily have been brought here by the government. Because it now fanya, see occurs here public relations. In Ikazi, we are using facts, and the facts are determining what we are doing. When it becomes uh, uh, operationally uh, unfeasible to do the operations further, we will tell you. According to one of the divers, the bodies of baby Amanda and her mother Mariam could still be trapped inside their car, but also alluding to the possibility that the vehicle could have broken down because of the water pressure in the seabed, and thus the bodies could have drifted ashore. It's been five days since the recovery operation began. It is still going on, but there's no sight of the bodies of Mariam and her four-year-old daughter, Amanda. Kevin Mutai, NTV, Mombasa.